In this video, I'm going to share with you on how to do questions involving integration. And what is integration? It's the reverse of differentiation. So let's say I have 3x squared plus 4. And I want to differentiate this. So I have d over dx. And to differentiate this, I will get 6x. So let's say now I want to integrate 6x, right? I want to integrate 6x. Okay, so to integrate 6x, I will expect myself to get back to 3x squared plus 4. So let's see whether I can get back to that. So the first step to do is to take 6x, alright? Now, is 6x to the power 1. I'm going to plus 1 to the power. That's what you need to do. Plus 1 to the power. Differentiation is minus 1 to the power. So since integration is the reverse of differentiation, we plus 1 to the power. And over 1 plus 1, which is divide by the power of the x. But you can see that I am not touching my 6 because 6 is just a constant. Okay, so now I have plus c. Okay, you might say or you might ask what is plus c? Plus c is just a constant, right? It can be any number. It can be 1, it can be minus 3, it can be 4. In this case, yes, you can see there I have 3x squared plus 4. But you do not know what is a number, so we have to put plus c. Okay, so and then... To continue to solve, we have 6x squared over 2 plus c. And there you go, you have the 3x squared plus c. And you might ask, how do I find c, the constant? All right. So c is just the y-intercept of the graph. If you're going to plot 3x squared plus 4, and plus 4 is the y-intercept. So the question will provide you with a coordinate, and all you need to do is to sub in the x and y inside to find the unknown c. Okay, so I'll be moving on to a few examples to show you how you can do integration. So before I show you on how to do some examples, I'm going to show you on the formulas for integration. So we have now the first formula, which is if you integrate a, which is just a number, okay, you get ax plus c. So you bring back the x, and now if you integrate, let's say I have ax squared. And all you need to do, like what we did just now, we add 1 to the power, and then we divide by the power and always remember to put the plus c if you don't put this it's not true for integration okay now and the next one that you need to know what if okay what if you have this how am i going to integrate this okay so I can have a high power here. Let's say I give it up to the power of 4, bracket to the power of 4. The first thing you need to do is you copy down this thing. Copy it down, not to worry. Always remember to plus 1 to the power first. So I have, okay. So I have 4 plus. 1. And that's not all. You don't only divide by the power. You also need to multiply by the coefficient of x. And there you go. And this will be the integration of this when there's a bracket to a higher power. Okay? So, but if let's say there's a constant here, I have a 7. Do not differentiate. The 7 is not the product rule. You just have to put the 7 in front there. And that's all. This is the rule for integration. Now let's do some examples. I am going to give you this. I want you to integrate 5 over square root x dx. 
Alright, okay. You can pause the video and go ahead and try it out. Okay, so this is how you're going to do. You're going to take the square root x and shift to the top first. So I'm going to get this. 5. Okay, we can change the square root to the power half. And you're going to bring it to the top, you have a minus half. Okay, once you get to this, you can integrate. Go ahead and integrate. So we have 5x. I'm going to plus 1 to the power. And we're going to divide the whole thing by negative half plus 1 plus c. And that's all. All you need to do is just like this. Okay, you have to plus 1 to the power and divide by the power. The 5 is a constant, so you do not need to do anything to the 5. Alright, go ahead and press this in your calculator. Simplify it and you get the answer. Okay, I'm going to go on with, with you to the next example. Okay, for the next one, I will have something like this. Two brackets and a dx. And I want you to try to integrate this yourself first. And I'll go through with you in a while. Okay, now let me explain to you on how to do this. First of all, expand the bracket. Open up all the brackets. So I will have one bracket and this will get me 3x plus 6 minus x squared minus 2 and simplify it okay so once you get to this stage you can integrate each of them each of the term respectively so let's try it out i will have 3x is a power 1, so I'm going to plus 1 over 1 plus 1. And integrate of a constant 4, you have 4x and minus x squared plus 1 over 2 plus 1. And remember to put the plus c. And that's all for this type of question. Yeah, I just have to simplify. So we have... 3x squared over 2 plus 4x minus x cubed over 3 plus c. And there you go. And for the next question, what if you have something like this? Alright, so I have a fraction. 6x squared plus 2x minus 7. And the denominator, I'm going to put 2x and that's all. So how are you going to differentiate this? You're going to break them up into each individual terms. To do that, you have 6x squared over 2x. Right? I'm going to put this in front here. 2x over 2x minus 7 over 2x. And once you get to this stage, simplify it. So this, I will get 3x plus 1 minus 7 over 2 x to the power negative 1. I'm going to bring it up so I can see very clearly what is the power on top of my x. Okay, so once you get to this, all you need to do now is to integrate each of them individually. So I have 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 plus x minus 7 over 2 is just a constant. So minus 1 plus 1 so I'm going to take this whole thing over minus 1 plus 1. Okay? Or if you do not want to do this, you can break this up because it's a times. Since you only integrate x and 7 over 2 is just a constant, we can just over minus 1 plus 1 to the x itself. And then you do the math, simplify it, and you get the answer. Okay, we'll go on to the last example. Okay, for the last example, I want you to try it out yourself first. So it's going to be like this. I have this side, right? I'm going to integrate 5 over square root 3x minus 1. 
Okay, go ahead and try this out yourself first. Pause the video, do it out yourself, and I'm gonna explain to you how to do this in a while. Okay, so this is how you're gonna do. First, you take the square root 3x minus 1 and shift it to the top. So I have something like this, but you can put this first. You can write it in this way first. You can have 3x minus 1 to the power of half. Because square root is half, right? Um, if you want to have a cube root, it will be 1 over 3. And this is dx. Okay, now we can go ahead and make it into just one row. I don't want a fraction. I don't want to see a fraction. Try not to do fractions for integration. Okay, so once you do this, you can see that I have my power very clearly shown to me is negative half. And 5 is a constant, so I do not need to touch 5. So the next step that you want to do, you can straight away integrate now. I have my 5 at the top negative half okay I have plus one over minus half plus one I'm gonna bracket them up and I'm gonna multiply by the coefficient of x and plus c and there you go simplify it and you get the answer thanks for watching and in the next video, I'm going to show you on how to solve questions like finding the area under the graph, under the curve, or under the line using integration.